Tower Tag is a hyper-dynamic cyberpunk PvP shooter with a grappling hook locomotion method that becomes second nature instantly. Conquer as many tower platforms with your team as possible to be able to move quickly across the field and beat your opponent with tactics and surprise. This is an early access game, costs $22.95, and is for the Valve Index, HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, and Windows Mixed Reality. If you get addicted to games easily, you are not going to want to play this game. <laughs> hey, what's going on everybody? It's Paul from VR Asylum. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today we're going to be looking at Tower Tag. Now, this is a sandbox game, or was a sandbox game, that has jumped over to the home VR system. So today we're going to try it out. And what I mean this thing is addicting, I am talking like very addicting. Have you guys ever watched the Star Trek Next Generation episode where Wesley Crusher has to run around the ship trying to figure out what game everybody's playing and why they're addicted to it? Well, this is what this game reminds me of. It's extremely addicting. So, we've 3D printed out a gun. Now, this gun took me a, about 30 hours to print out. Today, what we're gonna do is try this out. Uh, we've already tried it out. I mean, honestly, this is this blows the just the regular controller away by far. So this makes a huge difference. So we're gonna try this out today. We're gonna check out this game. We're gonna check out the types of gameplay you can play in this first, and then we'll do some gameplay. Stick around. In Gold Tower, your objective is to get across the map as quickly as you can and take over your opponent's main tower. Oh, yeah. That's what you get for being a smart ass. Come on. Ah. Come on, that was a headshot. I'm gonna spawn over there. Come on, hurry up. Oh, man! Stop it! I think this is mine now. <laughs> Be smart to jump over that other tower. There we go, we got one. In Deathmatch, the objective is simple. Kill your opponent as many times as you possibly can before the time runs out. The team with the most number of kills at the end of the time limit wins the match. Oh, he's trying to come over to mine. The tower that I'm trying to get at. Oh, I think he got me. Oh, okay, this is going to be a rough one. Woo! There we go, I think we got him! <laughs> Not quite. So we change this guy's tower, he's trying to get over here. Come on over then. There we go, payback! Elimination is going to be the most popular mode of this game. Your objective? is to kill all of your opponents on the other side and win as many games as possible before the time runs out. Sarah, behind you, can I get a heal? Uh. Sarah, oh shoot, oh shoot! Skiva, hold yeah. on, in the firefight here. Where you at, where you at? I got one. Good Ooh. shot. All right. Nice. Okay, so let's talk about some of the things that I liked about it. Then we'll talk about one of the things that I disliked about it. And then we're obviously gonna give it a rating. 
So obviously the best part of this game is the ease of which you can just jump in and start playing. There are good players on there for sure, but you know, within a couple of hours, you're actually holding your own in this game. And that's what I really liked about it. Especially with this gun, I found it a lot easier when I was playing with this gun. Not that it wasn't easy with the actual controller, but even more control with the actual gun. So I really appreciated that. I, I, I like the fact that you can actually just jump into the game and start playing. The second thing I really liked about this game was the play space area. You need very, very little to play this game. Because you're using a grappling hook to move around the area, the only space you need is basically to hide behind a pole. Yes, you can move around that pole, but the majority of the time you're hiding behind it. And the third thing I really like about this game was the fact that they had tons of maps in here and are going to have more. You can also customize your games as well too. They've really thought this game out and for an early access game, it blows most games away, especially for the price. The price is only $22.95 and you pretty much get the best game in VR right now if you're into online gaming. The one thing I was a little bit disappointed in and it really isn't the manufacturer's fault because they just started this early access was the attendance of the game. There isn't a whole heck of a lot of people Sorry, playing. And, and as a matter of fact, which is actually kind of strange, maybe there's more Europeans playing than there is North Americans, but they're actually having a tournament oh, right now for 2,700 euros. And yes, if you buy this game, you can actually play in this tournament. Now, I wouldn't expect to do well in this tournament right off the bat, but the great thing about this game is, is that it's very intuitive. You can just jump in, start playing it. I guarantee you within six months, if you play this game a lot, like I plan to, you're gonna be phenomenal. It is that easy to pick up and get going. Don't forget that we put out two videos every week on gameplay like this as well as VR news and VR product releases. And don't forget to check out this video over here on the other side of the subscribe button, which you subscribe for that 3D printed video I was telling you guys about where you guys can actually make some money. Thanks very much for watching VR Asylum. We'll see you next time. Take care.